Hello my friends, this is Wolfgangs with Tools for Ascension and in this video about room clearing uh, we will be talking about the heavenly vacuum cleaner <coughs> technique. So uh, in this video I will explain to you the concept of dark chi and how uh, you can feel it, you know, with your hands or your body and how to remove it uh, with the heavenly vacuum cleaner technique and as part uh, of our spiritual upliftment you know this is caused nowadays you know by this uh, great cosmic time and our consciousness cycles you know in the Vedic terms they're called yugas you know, so um, your our vibration is rising, and as a result, you know you are becoming also more sensitive to the lower vibrations in your environment. You know. And so that's why it is really important to understand, you know, the mechanics of lower and higher vibration. Right. Uh, and let me uh, give you an example. Um, a few weeks ago, um, you know, a client of mine, you know, doing the Skype session, you know, suddenly reported to see, you know, these kind of wispy things, you know, floating around in the room. Um, and so, you know, I investigated, I asked, you know, how they look like. And she said, can if they were floating like, you know, when you burn paper and then, you know, this ash things that kind of float around, you know, something like this, you know, darkish and floating around. So um, by this description, you know, we could already see, you know, this were not prana beings um, and this were not orbs, you know. And um, so I ask her, you know, to observe and see, you know, how they float. You know, do they float, um, do they kind of stay around, or do they float up, or do they float down, you know, how do they behave? And so she looked and uh, reported back that, you know, the gradually, you know, they're floating down and then land on the floor. and kind of pile up like snow, but kind of dark snow. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had her, you know, feel with her hand, you know, I, you know, I went through the uh, processes, you know, that I'm going to show you in this video. And so I had to, you know, feel, you know, how it felt on the floor and it felt very kind of clammy. She said like a uh, wet cardboard and kind of wet cold cardboard right? and it's a clammy feeling mm -hmm. and uh, then I asked her to um, actually uh, smile and uh, see you know what happens you know to those little flying thingies and she did so you know and they kind of started to flow away from her and then I asked her to frown, you know, and they started to flow towards her. <laughs> and then when she smiled again, you know, they kind of flowed away from her. Um, so, you know, with your mouth, with your smiling, first of all, you know, you either attract or you dispel negative thought forms. You know. So, and uh, now, I will show you um, how to uh, measure the chi, you know, that's uh, piling up on the floor. All right, then let's just go to a standard um, protocol here. So first of all, make sure, you know, that your hands are warm. You know, when they're cold, uh, you know, you're not grounded and uh, your chakras are closed and you probably cannot feel or run energy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's good to uh, kind of massage, you know, your hands like this, you know, stretch them a little bit. You can also, let's see, you know, clear 
those knuckles. Uh, this will uh, all increase the chi flow through your hands and fingers. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, you know, you uh, stretch out one arm, and then with the other arm, you know, with the other hand, you just gradually, you know, approach, you know, your arm. And see, you know, as closer and closer you get, if you feel any resistance or maybe warm or tingling or heat, you know, anything like this, mm -hmm. then go away again and see if this diminishes. And then maybe land somewhere else, and, you know, at your wrist and, you know, see how that feels in your hand. And then go away again. Uh -huh. So probably this type of, you know, resistance that you feel in your hand and make sure that your hand is relaxed, you know, do it right now. Go very, very slowly back and forth, maybe even close your eyes, you know, but just, you know, pay attention to what's happening in your hand. Mm -hmm. All right. And unless you can feel this, you know, you're probably not going to feel the stuff on the floor, but you might be. So let's just give it a shot, you know, don't give up. And so now, you know, bring, you know, your hand kind of down gradually to the floor, right? And <coughs> let's uh, assume that this here is the floor. And it's going to be interesting about like up starting two feet or like half a meter above the floor. And you know, and as you get closer and closer to the floor, um, you probably, you know, feel more and more resistance and you probably will feel like an emotion of clamminess, you know, or dirt or not very pleasant. Let me put it like this. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, pay attention. Uh, you know, how does it feel like, you know, and just also, you know, gradually go up and down to get a feel, you know, of where exactly, you know, there is kind of a discernible level of resistance. You know, this could be like uh, most likely around two feet high, you know, in places that have never been cleansed and where there was a lot of negative energy, uh, you know, you might be sitting <laughs> in the you know, at eyeball level and not feeling very good. Uh, okay. And I assume that you got a reading on this here now. And uh, now just uh, sit uh, back and um, <coughs> like hold your hands as if you're holding a tube you know, uh, half a foot or like 20 centimeters wide. Uh, like a tube, uh, like, a, you know, one of those uh, suction tubes that, you know, um, maintenance uses uh, to suck up leaves, you know, uh, in the fall. You know, something like that. You know, big powerful tube going all the way down to the floor. Mm -hmm. Just visualize it, you know, feel it uh, as good as you can. And then, you know, ask your spirit guides, you know, to suck up, you know, this dark chi from the floor. You know, suck it up and transmute it kind of into the, um, let's say, the positive opposite. Let's say, you know, if there is depression, you know, to transmute this into joyful energy. And if it's uh, sadness, you know, yeah, too. And, um, no, if it's hopelessness, you know, for hope, you know, or whatever else, you know, it should be transmitted in. Mm -hmm. And just focus on, you know, uh, the energy flowing up, you know, visualize this mm -hmm. right now. And just observe. Just observe. Uh-huh. And with many of you, you know, there might be already coming like a lighter feeling, you know, over you. You probably feel it like in your shoulders. 
and uh, it may be tingling, you know, it feels clearer and uh, maybe you want to even adjust your spine in a way, yes. And then that feeling might move down more, you know, this is actually, you know, how you perceive, you know, how, uh, you know, the energy that, you know, it's piling up on the floor, just like snow, just not as sticky more like uh, dry ice um, smoke. Okay. So keep sucking this up, ask your spirit guides, yes. And so then you probably feel this heaviness leaving in your hip area and then going down your thighs. Mm -hmm. And just stay relaxed, you know, smile. And again, you know, focus on maintaining in your visualization and in your intent this tube and keep sucking this up uh -huh. and just also observe you know in your ankles and your feet you know how it becomes lighter there mm -hmm. and this is a method that is uh, very very powerful um, it's different than smudge very different I think you can get stuff with this that you do not get with smudge. Smudge is good, but it's not a cure-all, fix-all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in most cases, this should be good, at least, you know, for one room. If you have a big hall, or like a meeting hall, or, you know, a church where a lot of prayer has been done, I mean, like, you know, for help, where people have been dumping their pain, you know, um, this could take half an hour. Um, okay, so we thank now all, you know, our spirit guides has, has helped us out and we asked, you know, for a blessing so that, you know, good energy, please be uh, filling the room now. Amen. And just smile and uh, you might just feel as if like little sprinkles coming down, you know, flowing over you, you might feel tingling. Uh -huh. Very nice. And, and now, um, let's, uh, you know, you probably have a wall close to you, right? And let's just imagine that this pillow here, you know, is, you know, the wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, you know, just like you measured, you know, the floor, uh, just measure the wall. <laughs> you know, gradually just get closer and closer and closer to the wall. It's not going to be as intense as the floor, but then when you get close to it, you know, feel, if you get that clammy feeling again. Mm -hmm. And then move further away and just get an idea kind of, you know, how far out you know, this hour it goes. Uh -huh. And so, um, this is the introduction to my next video that kind of corresponds, you know, to the clearing meditations for the rooms, uh, which is painting the walls with love. So just ask your own higher guidance, you know, in any way that you want, and like either with upflowing or downflowing energy as yes or no, or oh, you do some kind of kinesiology, you know, uh, whether, you know, it would be for benefit for you to watch the next video, you know, of painting the walls with love. As always, I love you. You know, subscribe to my videos, tell your friends. Uh, you can book uh, sessions with me, private sessions, make a lot fast advancement. And um, namaste.